in simple words ip spoofing can be stated as hiding your system ip address from others it is essentially a technique used by hackers to gain unauthorized access to computers and concepts of ip spoofing was initially discussed in academic circles as early as 1980s ip spoofing type of attacks had been to security experts on theoretical level it was primarily theoretical until uh, Robert Morris discovered a security weakness in TCP protocol known as sequence prediction. Occasionally, IP spoofing is done to mask the origins of a DOS attack. In fact, DOS attack often masks the actual IP addresses from where the attacker has originated from. For now, to spoof IP addresses, we are going to talk about VPNs, that is virtual private network that provide us a secure way to surf less secure networks. It helps us in IP spoofing so that no one can access your personal information without authentication. It is a technology that creates a safe and encrypted connection over a less secure network such as the internet. Uh, and you can say like virtual private network is a way to extend a private network using a public network such as the internet. But we cannot say that uh, using some vpn services is the most secure way because they create their own logs it's always better that you create your own B vpn servers on a raspberry pi or on your system if you have yourself that will be a better option if you want to do so so without further wasting your time let's get started the first thing that you have to do is create an account on windscribe.com the link will be in the description for this site you have to sign up, choose a username, password and password and then use an email verify. Now this is taken in use because this is a free service for VPNs. So the second step is to add the Windscribe signing key to apt using the commands. So the commands are a little lengthy so I have typed that into the notepad and I'll use the paste because I am little busy. So the second step is to do this. Now this will present me an error I know obviously okay, because I have already done this because I use this as my regular VPN service on Ubuntu and yeah it processed nice. So the third step is to add the repository to source list from terminal okay for that we will use the following commands. It is to get the Debian file for Windscribe on Ubuntu and then set it up for Windscribe repo list. And that has been done. The next step is to update and it is required because after you add these files, you need to make sure that all of the files are up to date to rely on these files. Okay. So I'm skipping that part and the next part is to install the command line interface for Windscribe. If you don't want to use command line, if you want to use graphical user interface, you can just remove CLI and add GUI. But for now, let's do it. Okay. And obviously, I have already installed it, so it says zero newly installed. Next step is to log in. So for that, I'll do Windscribe login. Okay and it will ask for the username now this username will be same as that created on that site for windscribe so the username i used is this after that add the password as same on that site and it will help you log in okay after the login we will start our vpn let's first check the status okay for that i'll do inscribe status this will this will show us the status it's actually disconnected right now so what what to do that we will do windscribe okay connect and you see it it is connecting to hong kong victoria but what if we want to connect somewhere else Yes, we have that option. We can do that by windscribe. Okay. Locations. And it will show us the locations of where we can set this up. We will use these IDs for the setups right here. Like if we want to set up South Korea, then we will use AR. We want to Singapore, we can do SG. Like this, we'll do 
let's clear the screen we'll do wind scribe okay and then connect fr this will connect us to france and if you want to get to connected anywhere any uh, private network from any specific location we can do this by getting the locations and then using its short form to connect to the location where we want other than that we can do windscribe logout as we did login we do log out to log out of the windscribe id like if you want to use any another id in that sense so that's all till now and the last part is to help you that is windscribe dash dash help to display all of the commands and options that you can use windscribe so that's all in this video thank you for watching if you learn something from this video make sure you do like this video make sure to do subscribe to watch more videos like this and share this with your friends